Hi there, and welcome to another video. My name is Paul Williams, and in this video, we are going to set up Google Tag Manager. Google Tag Manager is the tool for tracking all your activities on your website. Enjoy watching this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Google Tag Manager. But first, what is Google Tag Manager? If you have connected a number of tools to your website, like Google Analytics, Google Ads, Facebook, Hotjar, and others, you need to add a snippet of code for each tool to your website. So there's your Google code for analytics you need to connect to your website. There's a Google code for ads if you want to track conversions. There's a code you, uh, of Facebook if you want to install the Facebook pixel. And there's a code for Hotjar and multiple other tools. So adding a lot of different code snippets to your website will make your website slow and it will give Google a hard time indexing your website. So a better thing to do is to install Google Tag Manager. By installing Google Tag Manager, you install only the snippet of Google Tag Manager, and you can connect Google Analytics, Ads, Facebook, Hotjar, and all other tools to Google Tag Manager. It's not only easier to connect all these tools to Tag Manager than to install them directly on your website, it is way more better for your website and for Google to index your website. Your website will become much and much faster. How to install Google Tag Manager? So first of all, just do a search for Google Tag Manager and click on the hyperlink of Google Tag Manager, and then you will go to tagmanager.google.com. So in my case, I'm already logged in. So what I can do is just press create an account. If you're new to Google Tag Manager, the program will help you set up an account. So this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to say, solve the Rubik's cube. That would be pretty much the name. I'm located in the Netherlands. My domain name is Solve the Rubik's Cube and the target platform for me is just my website. Then I'm going to press create. I need to accept the terms and conditions. So I'm going to press yes. And there's my Google Tag Manager account. So next up, as you can see here, it's asking, can you please copy and paste these snippets of code into your website? Well, this is the code I want to avoid as much as possible. But for Google Tag Manager, you must use this code. But I'm going to do it in a far more easier way since I'm using WordPress. So I'm going to ignore this code. What I need to do is I need to copy my Google Tag Manager account code. Then I'm going to my dashboard of my website, my Solve My Rubik's Cube, and I'm going to install a new plugin and I'll just do a search for Google Tag Manager. Here's the plugin I use mostly, Google Tag Manager for WordPress. I'm going to say install now. Then I'm going to say activate and my plugin will be here under settings and there is my plugin for Google Tag Manager. What I need to do is I need to paste my Google Tag Manager ID and what I'm going to choose is custom. And then it needs a little bit of tweaking in your website. So if you select custom, you need to edit your template file and add the following line just after the opening body tag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy just this line here, right mouse click, and then I say copy and make sure you save this one. And what is important now that you have installed a WordPress child team. And in my videos, my WordPress videos, you can see how to install a child team. So next up, I need to do the little tweaking. So I go to theme editor and then here I've selected my child team. And what you want to do is you want to select your header.php and you need to search for the body tag. And the body tag is here. And what you need to do is just after the body tag, you're going to paste the code of snippet that you just copied from the plugin. Then I'm going to say update file. So if you go to Google Tag Manager and you want to see if Tag Manager works on your website, then you can just press preview. And there's the orange preview mode. And when I go back to my website and I take a look at my website, I visit my website, you will see it has divided my website in two. And here you see the Google Tag Manager. And if you see the Google Tag Manager mode here, it means Google Tag Manager is connected to your website. This was the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel.